Trump now is neck and neck with the latest survey from Biden, 45-47. His approval rating now is equal to Obama's in 2012. So it looks like at least to this, it's a Rasmussen poll, so it's always more friendly, Rasmussen. But it looks like uh, he is uh, closing the gap. Um, he has boosted his mm. approval rating uh, from 40, 49 to 49 uh, percent, 50 percent disapproving, which I think is pretty remarkable for as split as this country is. Uh, Barack Obama also had a 49 percent approval rating at this point. Biden is I think Biden is the weakest candidate I have seen, uh, perhaps in my lifetime, um, because if he goes out, I mean, even Charlemagne the God, um, which I just hate saying. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, he was he's probably the most influential black broadcaster in America. He's on premier radio networks, the same network that carries mine. <laughs> Racists. Um, they uh, they run the Breakfast Club, and Joe Biden came out and said that Donald Trump is the first racist president to be elected, which I heard, and I actually celebrated because I was like, oh, good, the founders are off the hook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then I started thinking, well, I don't know, Woodrow Wilson, mm-hmm. um, Andrew Jackson, FDR, yeah, FDR, and everybody leaves FDR up. FDR in the last century rounded up people. Because even if they were Americans, because mm-hmm. of their race, uh, so I just like to point out, you know, LBJ, uh, Wilson, uh, Jackson is another great one, and they all seem to be Democrats. But anyway, hmm. uh, Charlemagne said, "I really wish Joe Biden would shut the f up forever <laughs> and continue to act like he's starring in the movie A Quiet Place, because as soon as he opens his mouth and makes any noise, he gets us all killed." Okay. There's already so many people who are reluctantly only voting for Joe Biden because he's the only option and because Donald J. Trump is trash. Wow. Um, Mm. I think he's right. Mm. I think he's right. You can't have Joe Biden out uh, because he's not in control of himself uh, anymore. But then again, neither are the Democrats. I want to I want to give you the 15 references in their platform now to whites. And you tell me. Uh, how much they care about white people. Listen to this. This is in their new platform. We will never amplify or legitimize the voices of bigotry, racism, misogyny, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or white supremacy. First of all, uh, no, I think BLM is racist. I'm sorry, but anybody who says all white people are bad or all black people are bad, I'm sorry, you're that is the definition of racism. But you won't amplify the voices of anti-Semitism? Really? Have you met yourself lately? Median incomes. Now listen, here's plank number two. Medium incomes are lower and poverty rates are higher for black Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and some Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders compared to median white households. There is a persistent and pernicious racial wealth gap that holds millions of Americans back. The typical white household holds six times more wealth than the typical Latino family, ten times more wealth than the typical black family. Uh, Yeah, no, you're you're uh, wealthier, so (laughs) how do you fix that? How do you fix that? you got to take it away. Got to yeah, take it do. away. The wealth gap between black workers mm. and white workers is higher today than it was 20 years ago. It takes a typical black woman 19 months to earn what a t- typical white man earns in 12 months. Well, why don't we do apples to apples instead of apples and oranges? How about a black woman and a white woman? And uh, for typical Latinas, I think they mean Latinx, uh, and even Native American women, it takes almost two years. Even before COVID-19, the uninsured rate was nearly three times higher for Latinos and twice as high for black Americans as it was for whites. Black children are more likely than white children to suffer from asthma. Latinos, Native Americans, Asian uh, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, and black Americans are diagnosed with diabetes at higher rates than whites. Uh, Black Mm -hmm. women are more than three times as likely to die from complications of uh, pregnancy and childbirth compared to Mm -hmm. white women. Um, uh, black children are killed more often with abortions. Uh, oh, oh, no, that's not in there. Uh, <laughs> President Trump's words and actions have given safe harbor and encouragement to bigots, anti-Semites, Islamophobes, mm-hmm. and white supremacists. 
the extreme gap in household wealth and income between people of color, especially black Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and white families is hurting our working class and holding our country back. We will confront white nationalist terrorism and combat hate crimes perpetrated against religious minorities. Hmm. How about religious majorities? Each year, the United States spends $23 billion in schools, predominantly white districts, more than in non-white districts. We'll root out systematic racism from our military justice system, where black service members are twice as likely as white ones to face court-martial. Our counterterrorism priorities, footprints, and tools should shift, including to respond to the growing threat from white supremacists and other right-wing terrorist groups. That's their platform. Jeez. Uh, let me just ask you, if you happen to be white, do you feel like you're part of that at all? I mean, it sounds to me like they're going to come and confiscate your wealth. They're going to... Uh, make you uh, miserable. It, you know, it's it's the typical socialist thing. Not everybody is happy. Everybody's just equally miserable. Uh, and 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 second of all, when they're talking about median white households uh, making so much more money than minorities, uh, that's not even true. No, you know the Did number you one. Did you know group? that our median the, the number yeah. one group is go ahead is people from India, so Indians. So I'm not saying Native Americans here. The number one group uh, in median household income, Indians, $131,746 per household. That's impressive. Uh, whites are number two with uh, 85000 Then Latinos, 67000 per household. Middle Easterners, 56000 uh, Looks like blacks make around 45000 Medium now, so it is more for whites, but it's not six or ten times more as they were alleging. And also, uh, why mm. did they leave out Indians? Why do they yeah, make it sound know. like whites are the target when the highest median income uh, at about what seventy five percent more yeah. are Indian? Yeah, well, they also didn't include what Asians who you? make more as well. So that's. Uh, it's just I mean, what does what that say doing? to you? What does it say to you that minor we are not a racist country that mm -hmm. it's not holding whites back so whites can be number one? Indians and Asians perform better than whites. This is a meritocracy. That's what this is about. Oh my gosh, they're just it's... they have gone off the deep end and now they are spinning this conspiracy theory.